Solanix. Yes, you know, the company behind the making of Rocket League, and also the famous super acrobatic Battle Cars game, which was then later changed to Rocket League, has been a staple in the gaming and esports genre for years now, with many making full-time careers out of the game. So come and join me on a trip, far away, further than all the toxic players. In 2008, while everyone in this time was just starting to get a console, and even lesser than had computers, was actually the time when a very small indie game company called Psyonix launched Saab BC, also known as Super Acrobatic Battle Cars, on PS3. Most people thought it was a terrible name and that the game was way ahead of its time. A game that used the mechanics of real life football and took a massive spin on it, using a card to hit the ball instead of a player. In this era of gaming, many people were playing games such as a new and upcoming Call of Duty, so people weren't really interested in a new indie game. But some prominent names such as Scrub Killer, which is still playing pro to this day, was playing the game. But the main reason this game didn't really do well is because of how clunky the gameplay mechanics were, and that the game was not very well optimised. But that still didn't take the fun away from the people that in that small community playing the game, which was at least 2 million to date. So there was a pretty big break between 2008 and 2014, with a few pretty small titles being made like Noskov. Because the game that was going to make Psyonix millions was just coming around the corner. Rocket League's first trailer was made in 2014, with the game already looking a ton better graphics wise and gameplay wise. Compared to Sart BC, and considering it was a lot more into the future, games had started to develop a lot more, making people get more into gaming. And that brings us to when the game fully released, when Rocket League was made in 2015, selling 8 million copies in its first year, cementing themselves in the gaming market, which is a lot better in comparison to Sart BC's 2 million in total sales. Which is when we get to Sonic's first problem with Rocket League the servers. They are pretty bad, but they have got better as time has gone on, because players on Steam were starting to talk about why the servers were so bad, and people experiencing very high ping in certain games. And Cyanix isn't really at fault here though, because the game like Rocket League has so many things to factor in, like the ball moving, players moving, you hitting the ball, there's a ton of things to factor in with ping and just lag, and not just that, other people's internet could have been the problem anyway, so we haven't really talked about that much, because it, it's not really to do with that. Um, and this is when the game was bare bones, because there's not many mechanics in the game yet, because the first mechanic was actually the half flip back in 2015 before the first RLCS which is when we get to 2016 with the first ever RLCS starting and players like Kronovi scoring shots that were, at the time were not even possible for most of the community and starting big mechanics like the Cooksier Pinch which is still used to this day but mainly the biggest thing that could have ever happened to Rocket League did in 2020 and that caused great things for games and terrible things for people in the real world and that was the virus that at the moment I can't name but you know what it is, we were all at home, meaning higher player counts for Rocket League, and then Rocket League becoming free to play because of the Epic Games table, which at one point the game was getting 2 million players playing it worldwide, and the game skill gap rising and rising. But to sum this all up, over time, Rocket League has become a great game, getting so much attention around it, and we've got all our socials up to this to be the best YouTube content out there. But thank you guys for watching, honestly, genuinely, this has taken me so long to make, so like, if you, if you guys could subscribe, that'd be so much for this type of content. And if you even like this content, please comment and tell me what you'd like to see next. Um, and that's literally it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.